Hey there, today the moon is in Aries, the sign of the warrior. Uh, Aries energy has to do with how we find our courage and take action. So let's take a look today at what self-care looks like during an Aries moon. I'm Marina Orms here with your Astro Vibe for Tuesday, January 16th. And now that the moon has gone into Aries following last week's Capricorn new moon, we're in the Capricorn moon cycle. Today's Aries moon is asking us to build on those Capricorn themes. The Capricorn themes have to do with how we create a structure for ourselves, our planning, our creating systems, getting organized, ways that we create the structure that is going to hold us uh, in our, what we're stepping into. So our higher vision and purpose for our lives, connecting with that sense of purpose. Um, so that's what we're working on. And Aries asks us to do something about it. So Aries is that sign that has to do with taking action, with moving on something, taking some risks. So looking at your life and what it is you need to do, what it is that maybe you've been hesitating on or feeling stuck by, and looking at what you need to do to get it moving. Is there some action you need to take? Is there something you need to dig in and look at and think about that you've been avoiding? Is there someone you need to talk to? Um, is there something that you need to get going on? So those are the things we want to look at. And self-care means that uh, because the universe is asking us to move, <laughs> Self-care looks like taking some sort of action. Um, so it doesn't have to be painful. Um, action can be fun. And maybe you want to start with getting up and dancing or singing or going for a walk or doing what you can do. I've been stuck indoors or I was stuck indoors over the last weekend during an ice storm. <laughs> so we had um, ice I didn't even know that could happen, right? It's, it's raining ice, basically. I mean, freezing rain, I guess we've heard of that term, but they talk in the forecast in terms of the amount of ice accumulation that's going to happen. Uh, everything comes to a complete standstill. You've got three quarters of an inch thick layer of ice coating everything, right? It's really beautiful, but you can't walk anywhere because you could uh, slip and it's you know, heavy on the trees and the power lines and everything, crazy, crazy stuff going on um, here in Oregon. But anyway, so you want to see what you can do, right? So when, you know, when life sends you some weather and you can't uh, maybe do your normal activities, um, maybe it's asking you to take action in a little bit different way. Maybe it's asking you to look at something or pull out that book or work on that project or, um, you know, to doing something that is going to get you going in some direction. And the whole point is that when you get going or take some sort of step, some movement in some direction, that helps you see uh, where that where that action step is going to end you up. <laughs> so, so in other words, you're going to learn something. You take that risk, you take that action. It's decisive. That is the energy of Aries. It's making a decision. What does the word decide mean? It means to cut away. And so when you decide, you cut something away, you move or make a choice in a certain direction and you learn something from going in that direction. There's something that you get from moving forward, even though you're leaving something else out, right? You're cutting something away, but you get um, the benefit of moving forward that you don't get when you're being indecisive. So, um, so you either 
you know, learn something. Maybe you fall down on the ice. <laughs> maybe, maybe you, um, you know, make a mistake. You took a risk, right? That could happen. It's okay because you learned something. Fall down on the ice, you get some bruises, you know, you got to be laid up and take care of yourself for a little while. Maybe that was what you needed. The point is um, that when you move on something, take some sort of action. It will clarify things for you. It will get things moving in the direction you need for them to go. And you don't know what that's going to look like. We've been talking about letting go of control. So letting go. And uh, Aries is that rebirth energy. So we need to discover who we are by um, making some sort of choice or taking action and taking care of ourselves by not holding back from what it is we want and take that action to discover, you know, open that door, see what's behind it. Can't, uh, can't go wrong when you are on that path of discovery and you're there to learn something new. So that's uh, my wisdom for today. And we are moving into um, uh, the sun is getting closer to Pluto. Pluto and the sun will both go into Aquarius on Saturday. So if you missed my video about uh, Pluto going into Aquarius and the significance of January 20th, um, really potent and key time to understand what's happening. So go um, look for that video. Uh, the significance of January 20th with Pluto and Aquarius is a video I posted on Sunday. January 14th on my YouTube channel here. So check it out. Thanks so much for being here. I'm Marina Orms. You can learn more about me at astrologyheals.com. Thanks for listening about today's Aries moon. And I'm here every day with astrology for unshakable self-care. See you next time.